guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another speed build. This is actually just a really small build I did the other day, a few days ago, like right when I got Nifty Knitting, and I figured I'd share it with you guys because I kind of liked how it came out, but it is just a little... It's a little shed. I had written down the idea months ago when we found out that we were going to be getting a knitting stuff pack that I wanted to build basically a she shed or a, <laughs> a crafting shed essentially. It could be for anyone. I just think the phrase she shed is hilarious, probably mostly because of those commercials. I'm trying to think what those commercials are for. But anyway, this is just a little crafting shed. And since I did imagine it's something that you're probably going to place behind a house you live in and... In order to do that, you can't place this as a lot if you already have a house. I have decorated the outside on how I think it would look, so you can see that, but I'm also going to upload it as a room. So it'll be as a room and as a lot on the gallery. Uh, so both of those should be linked down below. Hopefully I explained that well. But anyway, if you don't know what a she shed is, it's essentially just a space for anyone. It's more stereotypical for people that use the pronoun she, but it's basically just a space that is decked out in a shed, like converting a shed into a hobby space. It can be for anybody and you could definitely make sheds that are more like sports or video games or working out or, um, I don't know, gardening, <laughs> but this one, since we just got nifty knitting, I decided to make a crafting shed. So I don't actually know if I'm naming this like she shed, DIY shed, crafting shed. I have no idea, uh, but I just wanted to mess around with the new items and kind of make a little bit of a crafting space. One thing that I noticed when I was looking up lots of inspiration pictures of just how people tend to deck these spaces out is they are really simple. They have some clutter, but it's it's organized. It's not like all over the place like I really like to build. It's a little bit more simple. So I do have these shelves on either size, either size, either side that I sized up and placed shelves within to make storage units sort of. Um, but most of this space is fairly simple. I do get some hanging plants though, because how could I not? I'm obsessed with the hanging plants. I really, really love them, but I do promise, even though I will continue to use them like crazy, uh, I think this is going to be the last, like, crafting or knitting inspired build for a while anyway. Uh, I'm going to be getting back to, like, regular content tomorrow. I just thought I would share this one with you guys because I thought it was really cute. It was just something I built and then I didn't end up sharing, so... Uh, just in case you guys liked it and wanted to have like a small space like this you can throw in your backyard instead of having a whole house dedicated to crafty stuff or a craft store or what have you. So yeah, we'll be back to regular builds tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it won't be this. <laughs> so anyway, uh, just figuring out what curtains we're going to use. I end up using two different curtains, both sheer I use uh, the ones from Parenthood and also these ones from Island Living. I thought about using the pink swatch, but I thought it popped out too much. And I was definitely going for more of a purple and teal in here. I think that's what that color would be called. Uh, so there's the shelving units, some string lights, and then there's a desk in the middle as well. And that desk is from Tiny Living. It's one of the cute one tile desks we have in the game. And then down here, I put a base game shelf and then... Also, the pegboard that we got with Nifty Knitting, but because of the size of it versus the size of the scaled up shelf, you can't see the pegboard part, you just see the blue shelves. So I thought that looked pretty cute and uh, just getting some more clutter as well. I believe we had a plant somewhere in here, like an actual full-size plant, but I might be wrong. Oh wait, no, I think it's just a little one on top of this dresser in the corner. This is a dresser from Tiny Living and so are these books, but I picked out that dresser because it looked a lot like Alex drawers from Ikea and I find that very common in crafting spaces, in YouTuber spaces, in makeup spaces as a great storage solution. So I thought that could be a more, I don't know, another section for all of your like papers and yarns and things like that. When I think of crafting, I immediately think of uh, like scrapbooking more than anything and I don't know why probably because when I think of crafts I think of paper yeah 
Uh, I think I mentioned in a video recently I was in knitting club in elementary school, but I was also in scrapbook club. So I guess I was just in all of the crafting clubs. Um, but <laughs> anyway, that's what those drawers I thought they would be, but you could use them as a dresser as well. I could see you just adding this room onto a house instead of having it as a shed out back, but either way will work, but just adding more clutter around. Something about this style just makes me want to keep adding that bunny sculpture. So I'm going to keep adding that bunny sculpture. Uh, it's up there and I just, I want more bunny stuff in the game. We don't have enough bunny stuff in the game, guys. We have cats and we have dogs, but where are the rabbits? I really need the rabbit stuff. We have butterflies and we have this statue. <laughs> There's not much. Uh, hopefully someday if they do it right. I want bunnies out like they have cats. Just running around or like hopping around the house. Get them a separate litter box. We'll, we'll be great. It'll be great. <laughs> Look at me getting on tangents again. But anyway, uh, we're at the outside portion. I think we pop back in later on. But I wanted to decorate this just slightly on how I was imagining it being in a backyard. So that you could get that idea. And then maybe if you were planning to build a house afterwards, you wanted to place this down and then build a house, you have the whole lot. If not... I have it uploaded as a room so you can just plop that behind your house and then decorate the outside. Uh, so <laughs> just getting a little bit of greenery and then a little bit of a pathway. I end up keeping it pretty simple since I assume nobody is going to place this down as a lot and then build a house in front of it. You probably already have a house and you might place this down if anyone even wants to download this. It was just like a fun little thing I did <laughs> so I just thought I'd share it. Um, but I thought about putting the rock pathway, but I got rid of those in the end and went with this flooring instead because I was kind of thinking it was connected to like a back porch area and uh, I messed around with these for way too long and I didn't end up using any of them in the end. Uh, but the outside is pretty blue and I used some of this wallpaper from eco lifestyle. I really like the container wallpaper. So I mentioned earlier that I want to steer away from crafting builds for the foreseeable future after these last three. I thought they were really fun, but I don't want to oversaturate the channel by any means. So if you guys have any suggestions of builds you'd like to see on the channel, I am totally open to reading those and seeing if anything, you know, excites me and I really get the inspiration to start on something. I think it's really funny though, uh, how many times, whenever I ask, hey, what should I build? And everyone's like, build a mansion. And uh, the reason I don't build mansions is because I don't like building mansions. Uh, when things are too large in The Sims, like too big of a house, not even mansion size, just too big of a house, I'm just like, eh, and I lose inspiration for it. Every once in a while, they're kind of fun. And I've had it written down on my to-do list for a while to find some inspiration picks for like larger homes that I would like to try to build, whether that's a direct recreation or just taking inspiration from, I haven't decided yet. Uh, so hopefully sometime in the next few weeks, there'll be a bigger house on the channel. And by bigger, I mean minimum three bedrooms, maximum like mansion size. I have no idea. Uh, it really depends. But if you guys have any specific suggestions as to any kind of builds, it could be medium-sized homes, tiny homes, community lots, anything that you're interested in seeing, please let me know in the comments down below. But we're just finishing up some landscaping here. I did use those debug planters over on the side and filled them up with plants. I thought it looked really cute. And then just popping inside to put this uh, chalkboard. And then we're going to be heading on to the screenshots. I hope you enjoyed this like really short chatty build. Uh, I just thought it was a bit of fun. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.